Joining us is Max Shalura. He's taken his childhood passion for ice cream and turned it into a sweet and successful Hillsborough County business. Chill Brothers, how did you get started? I like to go back to the beginning. Uh, I grew up in South Tampa, uh, born and raised. Uh, my family and I actually used to always joke around about opening an ice cream shop as kids. Um, we used to spend summers up in Ohio and you know, the only reason we really went up there was, well, A, to visit family and B, yeah. um, just the absolutely unbelievable homemade ice cream. Fast forward, um, I came back from school, um, you know, still no ice cream like, like we dreamed it up. Right. And um, kind of made the decision to, to go after it and, and really make a, a scratch made homemade product with a, with a location that's accessible to the whole neighborhood and community. Speaking of community, where did it get started? Where was your first location? So the first location, uh, romantically, was in Ivor City, uh, which is where my uh, my grandparents are actually from, and probably my great grandparents as well. Yeah. Uh, we opened up there, right on Seventh Avenue. Uh, kind of didn't really know we were doing all that much from operating an ice cream shop perspective. We knew how to make it, but the business side. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, we we had a, a small kitchen and uh, and. Italian gelato maker, and you know I, I I currently live about a block from the from the uh, from the shop, so uh, it was uh, it was a perfect scenario, and the amount of culture and energy over there was perfect for starting a new shop. And that's excellent that you started it in your own neighborhood, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so, how many locations do you have now? So now we have three locations. Okay. Um, one up in Ewar City, the original. Uh, this one here, which is our most recent and home to our uh, production facility, our ice cream kitchen. And then we have our Beta Bay shop, um, which is closer to where I actually grew up. Kind of all, all your Tampa neighborhoods, right? Absolutely, yeah, that's, that's the plan. Your ice cream, how do you pick the flavors? This question comes up a lot. Uh, there, I would like to say there is a, you know, an organized method, but you know, a lot of it is based around my upbringing and upbringing in my family just by the nature of growing up in Tampa there's a lot of Tampa inspired flavors you know we have an amazing team of pastry chefs back there who have been in the industry for a combined 60 70 years so they have this this unbelievable database of just amazing flavor combinations and things that they've worked with things that they've grown up with that they incorporate into uh, our new seasonal flavors in our product offering just in general so what's your favorite my favorite, so it's like asking a parent who their favorite child is. You don't have and a favorite, I, I you love them so all. much of it, yeah. Um, I will say Chef Amy, uh, kind of from start to finish, designed our, our lemon bar flavor, and that's seasonal right now, but that was like a spiritual ice cream eating experience when I first had that. That's good. So, that, you use very, very good adjectives to describe the, yeah. the ice cream experience. What's your most popular flavor? The most popular uh, is the Double Down Oreo. Oh, So okay. that's gonna be our cookies and cream kind of on steroids. So the ice cream itself, like a lot of people think that we've made a chocolate ice cream, but in reality, it's just Oreos blend it into the ice cream and then after we blend in a, a healthy amount of Oreos we like just chalk it full of more Oreo pieces when we pull it out of the machine so it's like literally doubled down Oreo and it's it's just it's hard to you know get enough of it. So where do you source your ingredients from? When we can and when it when it is the best which it very often is for for fresh product is, is locally um, you know we you know immediately go to our uh, our bee's knees which is our, our honey flavor yeah, that, so good. Uh, that one is made with a uh, local orange blossom honey uh, the the makers are uh, sweet squeeze um, so we get all of our honey from them and um, you know looking at you know it's strawberry season right now we're getting all those from plant city uh, I, I Talked about the pistachio a little bit from Sicily, uh, Madagascar vanilla beans. You know, you can't grow those in Florida, but we we get them from Madagascar, which is you know top notch stuff. I think that might be the difference. Absolutely.
Max takes us into the kitchen for a behind the scenes look into the creation of these delicious delights. Max, you, this is the facility for everything? Yes. Okay, so, so you, everything's made here. All the ice cream, waffle batter, cookies, mix-ins, candies, chocolate chips, chocolate chunks, all that is made in this facility. And then we move it to each, each location via refrigerated or freezer trucks. Is that daily? Um, or does twice it have a week. Okay. Do different locations have different popular flavors or they're all pretty much the it's same? It's pretty consistent. Okay. I would say Ebor has maybe a little bit more of a tendency towards the, um, the, the Capital Leche, Leche, the yeah. Cava Pasolito. The uh, traditional flavors right. for Ebor. What advice would you give to someone that's wanting to start their own business? You know, I, it, it's uh, to me, I would just say, I'd say go for it. Uh, you know, love what you do. Make sure you love what you're doing, otherwise you're not going to be that good at it. <laughs> and um, work hard and have a have a high pain tolerance. Good advice. Well, thank you. This yep. has been excellent. I've learned learning about your family and how you got started in this, and I appreciate that you've kept it in Hillsborough County. Yeah. Thank you. Now that's the scoop on another local business, Chill Bros. Now go out and explore the borough.